1914, women in Manitoba were eager to win the right to vote. They decided that humor was their best weapon in the fight for equality with men. Come out! The night of crime has fled. Day has begun. Here is no criminal to dread, only your son. The world, half yours, demands your care. Ready for women our pretend debate, ladies? Let's show them what things would be like if women had all the power. Well, be careful, Madam Premier. As the Speaker of this Parliament, I might just rule you out of order. Let's go! Now, do remember, for the next hour or so, women have all the rights and men have none. I now call upon the member representing the Society for the Prevention of Ugliness. We wish to make it law that no man wearing a scarlet necktie, a six-inch collar, or squeaky shoes may enter any public building whatsoever. We believe that men have it very hard and deserve help in their work. That's why we propose labor-saving devices for them. My dear lady, if these men start working less, they will begin educating themselves. And the next thing you know, they'll want to vote. Unthinkable! Votes for men! Votes oh, for men! Well. Votes oh. for men! Huh? Votes for men! What a pleasure to have your presence today, gentlemen. Allow me to compliment you on your splendid appearance. You all look very fine. We demand our rights! We have the brains. Why not let us vote? Why on earth? Earth, would you wish to fill your heads with heavy political matters when you have homes and children to care for? Any system of civilization that can produce such splendid specimens of manhood is good enough for me. And if it is good enough for me, it is good enough for anybody. Such a system of affairs should simply not be interfered with. Indeed, if all men were as intelligent as you, perhaps the vote for your kind would be possible, but sadly, that is not the case. No votes for men! 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 What in blazes? How dare they? That Nellie McClung is a hyena in petticoats. So long as I am in charge, women shall never have the right to vote. Their sacred duties are at home. <laughs> huh? The mock parliament was such a hit that Nellie McClung and the others performed it again in Winnipeg and then in Brandon, Manitoba. Audiences loved the clever show, which made it clear how ridiculous it was that women couldn't vote. The next year, the Liberal Party under leader Tobias Norris defeated Roblin's conservative government largely thanks to the suffragists. And in 1916, Manitoba became the first province in Canada to give women the right to vote and to run for public office. <laughs>